Hey tires, welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pattern I call the Schwa Creek Caddis. This uh, is a pattern I developed. It's come through uh, several iterations and I've changed a few things. I've used a insect green yarn on this just to kind of give a little bit of contrast to the fluorescent chartreuse dubbing. And it adds a nice little segmentation to the fly. I've also added a two component thorax on the fly using ostrich to give a little bit of movement as well as the dubbing to add a bit of volume and a little bit of flash underneath the collar. So this is a fly that I use pretty much all during the spring, summer, fall and it's been pretty productive. You can add a little bit extra weight just behind the bead if you feel that you need it but it's a pretty simple pattern and one that I don't go on the rivers without. Let's have a look at the materials and get started. Started, put a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a number 10 Mustad Signature CS49 or C49S rather. And I have a four millimeter uh, black nickel bead on here. And I'm using Danville Six Ot Flymaster. And this is the dark olive color. Let's start by putting a bit of thread on behind the bead. If you'd like to add a little bit of extra weight on the fly, you can add a few wraps of lead just behind here. I'm going to not do that today. <clears throat> We're going to use a little bit of yarn as our ribbing. So this is the uni yarn and this is the insect green. It's a nice kind of olive color. Just take a little length of that. And we'll tie that in along the back of the hook shank and we're just going to tie that down into the bend next I'm going to take a little bit of laser dub I'm using the uh, fluorescent chartreuse and this is just a nice dubbing it's uh, we're going to comb this out a little bit afterwards and these long fibers make it really nice. So I'm just going to wrap my thread up a little bit. I'm going to take it to my starting point and I'm just going to dub on a little bit of this laser dubbing. And we're just going to start wrapping up near the top. We want to have a definite uh, taper on this, so I just want to take this down. And this is going to be my thinnest part here. Add a little bit more dubbing. We'll start winding back up. It looks pretty good. Just gonna put a little half hitch in here so that doesn't unwind at all. And I'm gonna reverse wind this insect green uh, uni yarn just to give it a bit of segmentation. Alright, next I'm going to take some ostrich hurl. I've got some nice hurls here. These are pretty fine, so I'm going to take two of them. If you've got hurl that's got a little bit longer uh, fibers, you might just want to use one. I'm going to use two. I'm going to tie those in right on top. Trim off those tag ends. 
I'm going to use a little bit of my favorite dubbing. This is the Bronze Olive DD144 Diamond Dub. I'm just going to take a pinch. We're going to dub that onto the thread. I'm just going to start to fill in this thorax in a little bit. Looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to wind, make sure I got my thread right behind the bead. I'm going to carefully wind this about three times, three and a half. And we'll tie that off right behind the bead. Oops. Give me one second. We'll quickly re-thread that. So I broke the thread off there, so I want to make sure that that flies not compromised here. So we retie our thread on. I'm gonna add a few extra wraps. And trim off that excess. And add two half hitches here. Must have something sharp on the inside of this bead. Cut my thread off twice. So, just want to make sure that I add a whip finish. If you snap your thread off like that, you don't usually have a secure knot, so make sure we add that extra one in there. I'm just going to add a touch of glue, add cement right on that thread. And then I'm going to take a brush, I'm just going to brush that out a little bit. You want to take out some of the fibers in the, in the thorax as well as in the abdomen here. You just want to go on, make sure you go on all the sides. Brush it forward, and brush it back. There you go. Schwa Creek Caddis. Thanks for stopping by my Fly Time channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.